you can see that I have my software OBS. So here you can note I'm making it, I'm deleting it. Yes. So I have a clear page over here. So how would I use this? So first of all, you will see that there is certain scenes which has to be created. There is certain sources which has to be done. So if you click on to the sources, you will find that in your sources there are multiple things which can be added. Like the options are there can be only face recording. That means where your face uh, video will be there and you will be uh, recorded in your lectures. There is option of image recording. That means only you can give your image and uh, then you can start your recording. There can be image plus face recording. That means you have certain image and your face is going on. You can also do that. There is an option of screen plus face recording. That means there are some moving screens is going in the background and uh, you have your own face which is recorded. And there can be image slide shows. So unlike the PPTs here, you cannot run through the entire PPT, but what will can you do? is that you can take a screenshot of your individual PPT and show it in a rolling manner. And the sixth option is uh, either you have a image slideshow plus face recording. So these are certain sources which are needed to be set before you are starting with your OBS. So let me first of all create my scene. Here you can see that I have one scene. Let me remove this. Okay. Great. So now you can see my screen is visible. So if, if I'm to, there's a plus sign, I want to add C setting scene. So already scene one is there. I want to add suppose another scene. So scene two, suppose I have given a bit about OBS. So I introduce what is OBS, then I am giving you something about the use of OBS. Okay. So now just with this, you don't have any source. So since I've created a scene, so therefore in order to build up my scene, I have to create a source. As I already told you, there is six source option, uh, face recording, image, image plus face, screen plus face, image slide slow. so out of that first of all just for my scene two that is if i click on to the sources i have to go to the add button here you can see multiple things so first is audio input capture always remember that whenever you are recording your videos it has to click you have to click the audio input capture because otherwise if you, you are not clicking into this, your voice will not be there because this is nothing but it is something which is your mic. So without a mic, your video will have no sound. So always make sure that you click on to the audio input capture. Second, you want a audio, some browser, something if you want. I'm going to a color source. That means I want to add a color to my picture. So if I add into this, add the existing, make source visible. 
create a new okay so there will be a change in the screen color if you want to change it suppose i want i am like stockfish blue that's my one of my favorite so it, i can choose my color source so see here how is your background is of the image is there okay then click on to okay next is again you want to add suppose you want to add a a text right so text you want to create a text suppose session i will give a session on ifm comparative cost <laughs> advantage theory approach right so again i will give it so here i will mention how comparative cost theory so it's up to me i have to, i can select my font size i want a regular one or you want to change what is should to be size what should be as normal in times you know when what you do if you want a strike line effect or underlying effect or so what kind of effect you want to have that's up to you or comparative sorry so it's up to you what should be the size you want to create you can do that you want to bold you can do that so that is how you want to trans text transform upper case lower case start case again it's up to you so something which you have already done with the word format if you are familiar with that now you can drag and you can create at the size which you want so i want to explain on comparative cost theory again if i am to add suppose i want to add a image i want that uh, this theory should have certain images so in order to create create a new image on trade some trade image so for that if you have any image you can browse it through your computer system through your folder suppose if i look into my pictures i have certain trade theories images yes i have a okay this is a comparative cost advantage formula or uh, i want a image of uh, <coughs> the trades happening so i i can put up an in for instance but this is needs a preparation so i have okay so i put certain images in that how in indian economy the theory of in our economy the in the trade operates if you want another image you can also click and uh, you can take a media source create a new media source uh if you have uh, something you can browse from a local file if you have any media representative uh, in order to so okay so here is uh, my kind of uh, moving 
effect media where I saw that the position of economy is changing. So this is a kind of things which will come and go. And uh, if you want uh, your, uh, your video should be there, then your face should be there while you're recording, then you can uh, click on to this uh, video capture device and uh, click OK. So if you do this, you will see that your face uh, is seen in this video and uh, you can start if, if any configuration needed i'm not go, getting into the intricacy of this but if, if you to just see that video clarity is doing fine so you find that your uh, face is there your economy is there your moving screen is there and you want to change the color it's there or if you want to add a text or a kind of uh, window capture along with this so you want your zoom meeting controls to be done so want your zoom cursors to be used so that one also you can you can make it and uh, and how it's see it's in this a zoom picture which will be captured so if you remove this it can be also done so that's it. I'm removing this window capture because I just in order to remove some of those features, what you can do, you have to just click on this and negative sign. And you want to remove? Yes. So can you see the black sign is no more there? It has removed. So that's it. You have set your screen. And in fact, if you want anything more to be added, it's uh, there, this is how your setting looks like. And uh, any other, it's depend upon you, how many features you want to, you want an image slide show, then uh, you have to click okay. Then um, you want to add, but you have to, for that, uh, you have to show that either it has to be in which mode, so automatic or no, what will hide on a slide show, if you put it as okay. So, now somewhat your screen has been set i want one more image to be inserted in order to explain my uh, trade theory okay so i will again browse and if i don't want my picture to be there uh, in my lectures what i can do i can search for some images some kind of uh, images which i have further to explain let's take uh, something has to be related to your uh, kind of uh, classes which you want to portray in uh, so like this, you can do it. So it's up to you. If you want this image, you can create. If you don't want this, it will take your entire screen. So it's up to you how you are, uh, you are trying to put your classes. You don't want your video. You want uh, that this video should not be there. And you can also with this image is sufficient then you can take it so this is how your setting has almost been done now what you need to do you just have to go over here control panels so you have to start recording so you will see that it will automatically your your lesson will start start recorded so now you can see the button it is the timer is on that means your recording has started so hello students uh, we are here to the session on comparative cost advantage theory as i've already explained to you in my last session that countries trade in order to gain benefits from each other but what is the basis which should be taken care of when they are trading with each other 
So the cost effectiveness is a major criteria. If I say India is very, very efficient in producing crude oil, or India is efficient in producing, say, textiles, but should it be producing crude oils or it should be producing textiles? So in that sense, the comparative cost theory have serving as a very, very essential aspect of dealing with trade mechanism. So whatever lectures you have, you can record today. I had a session on OBS. I could, I, I can easily record over this and I can show it. So when my recording is over, uh, you can see now 1.21 minutes. So I've recorded. Let me stop it. So uh, my recording using this platform is done. You know, to see, I will go to file. I will go to show recording. So if I go to show recording, you will see that my recording is somewhere uh, is there in, uh, mm, it must be here somewhere. Yes, so this is what is the recording here. So I have to tick it, make a tick mark to it. And I have to, Remux it because if I'm going into remux, uh, not remuxing is it will be not able to open file. So this is my file. I opened. Then you can see that recorded file is here. I remuxed. So recording remuxed. Okay. So that means my video has now been converted into an MP4 video. So that is how you can record your C classes. And if network is an issue, then not an issue at all. As you want, as many as classes you want, you can record OBS as a beautiful platform in order to show your lectures. Thank you.